Hello YouTube and welcome to this video by technknowledge.org. In today's video we'll be looking at a comparison of uh, smartphone web browser apps um, on the Android operating system. We'll be comparing the five most popular uh, web browsing apps on, on the Android system. So firstly we've got Chrome, Dolphin, Firefox, Opera and UC Browser. These, these web browsing apps have been downloaded the most on the, the Android operating system, on Google Play Store. Um, and so we thought we'd um, do a shootout between them and compare how they actually perform in terms of real world usage. So, f so just to give you a quick heads up in terms of what comparisons we're going to do, firstly we'll just compare the app size um, because that can be important for low end phones with less memory or less storage space. And we're also going to compare the RAM usage, just um, because that's also can be important in terms of how it affects your phone overall phone performance. But the real crux of the this comparison comes when to the data usage and the download speed between these apps. Um, data usage, of course, is very important if you if you're not on Wi-Fi um, and your data package is limited um, and you spend a lot of time browsing. The internet on your phone and of course download speed is important because you want to be able to to browse the web quickly this is even more important when your network speed is not um, that great uh, and your, your user experience is going to be affected the most then the other thing we're going to look at related to this is that two of the the, the apps opera and uc browser have a data compression a feature. Now Opera is most uh, well known for this feature, or they really pumped that this is a, one of their the unique selling points. Um, and so we're going to test these features and these data compression features and see whether they work as they're meant to work, whether they actually um, save you a lot of data, and whether this actually affects the download speed as well, which it should if it's compressing the data. So lastly we're going to look at site caching and this is actually where the browser saves some of the data of a downloaded website in the, in the phone memory or on the, the uh, browser memory and, and recalls that when you want to go to that website again instead of having to download everything from scratch. So most browsers do this automatically um, which is also a data saving feature and also makes, makes browsing much quicker this feature is enabled. But you can disable it or you can occasionally clear the cache if you want to. So we're just going to look at, the, at what that means in terms of your, your data usage and the speed of the downloads or the speed of the browsing experience. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to go straight into showing you some of the results. I've graphed them so that they're easy to compare and then we'll pick it up again at the end. Okay, so this first slide just uh, is a quick slide to show you the app size and also the amount of RAM that's used with uh, four tabs or four websites open at the same time on each app. As you can see, the app size, uh, Dolphin is the smallest and then Chrome and Firefox are around about the same size. And for the amount of RAM used, uh, Chrome and Opera use the least amount of RAM. Um, with four web tabs, websites open, and Dolphin, Firefox, and UC browser use about the same amount of RAM, um, between sort of 50 and 60 megabytes of RAM. Okay, so now we look at the data usage and download speed. And but bef before we look at the exact details, and I'll just give you a quick rundown of, of how I did, ran these tests. Basically, all these tests were done with Mobi sites or mobile sites, websites. Each test result value represents the data usage or download time for four standardized Mobi websites under standard conditions. So all the, all the browsers, tests for the browsers were done under the exact same conditions and with the same methods. And then all the data is, is, was done with uncached websites. So the cache was cleared between each test except for the tests where the, we're testing for cached websites uh, which I'll show you later and then for the data compression feature test the image re resolution was set at the lowest for each browser that has this feature and the error bars indicate the standard deviation from the mean. 
Okay, so if we look at this uh, graph here, the you can see there's not a whole lot of difference in terms of the download speed, which is the top graph, so that's seconds per mobile site or Mobi site. You can see that Dolphin and UC Browser are probably the fastest browsers, and Opera is the slowest of all of these. So there's about a, a almost a two second difference per website uh, or per web page between Dolphin and Opera, which I think is quite a significant difference uh, or meaningful difference in download speed. If you look at the the megabytes per mobile site, then it sort of corresponds to the speed results, um, where Dolphin, Firefox, and UC Browser use the least amount of data, and then Chrome and Opera use the most, which corresponds to it being the slowest as well in terms of download speed. So, yeah, so about, Opera uses about 25% more data than, than Firefox, which I think is a meaningful result. Okay, so the next slide will show you the data compression feature. And as you can see, it's only Opera and UC Browser that has this feature. And from the graph, you can immediately see that for UC Browser, the megabytes per Mobi site is, makes no difference whether the compression feature doesn't actually do anything. It does make a slight difference in terms of the speed of the download, but again, probably not a meaningful difference. It's, it's probably like half a second difference on, on, on those results. Whereas if you look at Opera, the, the data usage when the compression feature is on is about 5 or 10% of the, the uncompressed data. And you can see that in terms of the, the download speed, it takes about half the time to download the same websites. So for UC Browser, I would say it's basically a, a useless feature. For Opera, it really does make a meaningful difference to, to put the, the compression feature on when you're not on Wi-Fi. You'll save a lot of data and your, your browser experience will be uh, faster. Then the next site will look at the previously cached sites. So the blue graph shows when, when sites were not cached, so the cache was cleared before uploading the websites, and then the red graph, the, the red bars show the sites that were previously cached and then browsed again. So immediately again what stands out is for Dolphin and Firefox, there's no meaningful difference in terms of the download speed between cached and uncached websites. But for Chrome, Opera and UC Browser, there is definitely a, a meaningful difference in terms of the download speed. It's much faster when the site has been previously cached. In terms of uh, data usage, all five browsers do save a significant amount of data when the sites were previously cached, but this effect is probably most marked for Chrome and Opera and UC Browser. Firefox and Dolphin, that you save about half the, half the amount of data, whereas uh, with the others you save more between sort of 80 and 90 percent of the, the data usage, which is a really handy thing to have. In, in conclusion, Dolphin Browser is the fastest at loading uncached and uncompressed sites, while Opera is the slowest. Opera's compression feature does result in the fastest download times overall though, so if you're willing to compromise on your photo resolution or the image resolution in your websites, then you can switch that feature on and you'll definitely get the fastest um, uh, download speeds of all the browsers available. And then Chrome has the fastest download speeds for previously cached sites. So if you don't necessarily want to compromise on image resolution, but you want high resolution websites all the time, even on mobile networks, then Chrome is, the, is your best bet. Then for the uncached and uncompressed uh, sites, Opera also uses the least amount of data. Mm -hmm and the remaining, the other four have similar data usage and then Opera's compression feature definitely results in the least amount of data usage, about 95% less, which is a really, really big difference and a big advantage that it has above the other web browsers. And then Chrome uses the least amount of data for previously cached sites, so if you don't want the compression feature, then Chrome would be the browser to use. Of course, all of these browsers have a few different features that you can't necessarily compare uh, directly with each other.
but uh, yeah if you have any input on that mm. then please comment on that below so i hope you've enjoyed that comparison and it's been useful for you in terms of um, comparing these different browsers uh, if you found use from this video please like and share it uh, with your friends or on facebook twitter whatever you use if you have any comments or input on this video um, please feel free to make a comment below and everyone can benefit from that um, and thanks very much for watching catch you on the next video Cheers.